What's up guys, Sinistalker here for a new video. This year up here, kind of go around town, see what we get into, and things like that. I'm kind of starting off the video a little bit, a little bit semi-choked up because um, I just found out a little bit ago, uh, a number of minutes ago, that a hardcore wrestling legend and icon, uh, Terry Funk, has uh, passed away. Um, yeah, like a little teared up right there because uh, I met him years ago at a wrestling convention here in San Diego super nice guy I caught him in the hallway I, I saw him at the convention here it is folks hardcore legend terry funk man oh, that's awesome man not knowing a thing you know chat up with him a little bit signed some stuff and then like I saw him and later on that night it was at a casino hotel here in San Diego I think it was uh, Harris Casino I'm pretty sure it was here in San Diego saw him in the hallway him and Roddy Piper walking around I went up to him say hey come take your picture he's like yeah sure and a uh, great a great guy legend in the business I was wearing my old ECW t-shirt I still have that shirt before the beard uh, him and Mick Foley you know uh, Cactus Jack had some amazing battles in the past at King of Deathmatch tournament in Japan and of course all over the country of course in ECW just all kinds of famous moments they had together with them two uh, pretty much tied together and of course you know Terry Funk long career wrestled like I think 50 years or something like that he had some health ailments uh, lately I saw, saw a photo of him like, I think a month ago he didn't look too good and uh, he just passed away today August 23rd so uh, man best wishes to him may he rest in peace rest in power one of the best ever um uh, in the business, total icon, uh, Terry Funk, uh, with his hardcore wrestling ways, how he is, his originality, how he did it. An absolutely amazing, uh, amazing performer in the ring. Uh, yeah, def definitely choked me up, man. I was just, uh, I was like, went to, totally caught off guard with that. One of the best ever, uh, Terry Funk. Uh, like I said, may he rest in peace. And uh, yeah, absolute, uh, absolute legend right there. But now uh, we'll get off over here, start off over here at uh, Target. Kind of see what kind of flicks they get in there. Maybe some Halloween stuff. Uh, maybe they get some stuff uh, in there at the shop for Halloween. So I'm sorry, I'm a little bit befuddled so far with the Terry Funk news. So, uh, but I'm gonna go over there, check it out. And then from there, probably hit up Walmart. Maybe go to Book Off too in the area. Kind of swing it up. Kind of a little fun, easy, good times around town. Maybe throughout the video, I will maybe still be talking about Terry Funk here and there. Little little sprinkles of things like that. It's my favorite moments of with him in the ring and stuff throughout the video i'll probably you know throw some stuff in, you know, a few times here and there but uh but yeah let's get going over here so they got inside let's go to target as we enter target right by the front door area some halloween decor up here there's little mini candles little tins this one smells like candy corn supposedly that's kind of cute and then there's like a little faux candle like a little light up with the skulls on it. i dig that little candle set and over here we got some rubber duckies, Frankenstein style and pumpkin style. So for the hot tub, tub, rubber dub dub, little duckies, there you go. Halloween rubber duckies and this little thing right here. <laughs> and let's go by the movie area. Why not? What the heck? Why not? Because there's not much here, but might as well see it anyway, right? <laughs> We're seeing stuff I've seen before, some things I don't care about. This thing, diner, I don't know what that is. Let's see some other Halloween, you know, fall type things. Of course, you're going to have the uh, pumpkin, what's this pumpkin munchkin? I'm too, I'm too, it's a little bit too early for me. It's still kind of warm. I'm going to the rain. Survive the rain. So there you see my video. Get back to that. It was only like pretty much one day of rain, but it's still too stupid. It's right, actually, right now it's like low 80s, so it's too hot to have some pumpkin spice stuff. But when it gets fall time, the pumpkin spice will be going at it. And you also have some of the uh, some of the cookies going on, some of the Halloween cookies, little sugar cookies. You get some ghost. You get some pumpkin. So it's... The season is now coming up very, very soon. It's already here, but pretty much just about there. But yeah. I was just leaving Target now. Not, not a whole lot in there, especially movie-wise and Halloween stuff-wise. Just that stuff in the front show a little bit ago with the voiceover. There's music playing there, so I can't really show much on that. Kind of in and out of there within like, you know, a little bit. So now let's go to a book off. See what's going on there. I've been in a minute, and it's going there. Next spot to hit up, a good old book off. Have not seen, been there in a while. I don't really find much in there. And when I first go into book off, I noticed all these Nintendo games with the box still. That is pretty cool. Look at that. And over here, we have all the Blu rays, a gigantic Blu ray area. Book off has lots of movies to check out and pick out. I'll this one, The Return 
of Swamp Thing. I always like this one. It says Heather Locklear. Pretty fun sequel to the Rest Qua Craven Classic, which I think that just kind of 4K from MVD Entertainment. So if you want to get it on 4K, the original Swamp Thing, it is available now. Once I get up here, some, uh, what, is, what is this? Some ghost story? Yeah, it's a nice, good, slow burn horror flick. Has Fred Astaire, all kinds of actors from the past in this one. Pretty neat, creepy ghost story. And then we get some boxes with the Paul Nashie collection. This one's uh, $40. Great stuff. Paul Nashie, his collection too. No, he is. Check him out. A lot of cool Wolfman stuff. Great actor from Spain. There's some other sets up here. Some of the Universal collection going on. And some other kinds of Blu-ray box sets. Always have some pretty good stuff here at Book Off. Cannot go wrong. It's always good to thumb around here and see what you might get up on. Since I'm here, let's go check out the horror section. So it's just the DVDs. So it's just those. But let's see what they have up here. This one, good old Bad Moon. And the old Snapper case. That's a, definitely a retro one from the past. Probably a late 90s style. And what's they got going on up here? Let's see what they have going on. And this right up here, good old Halloween on DVD. 45 bucks for that. Are you kidding me? I don't know about that, but uh, 45 bucks I've listened for? Um, maybe it is. I don't know. But I'm good. I just left a book off and anything in there. You know, just like usual, I don't get nothing really much in there. Fluffy Gamer always finds the goods. And a happy birthday to you. His birthday was a couple days ago, so yes. And I'm sure he found some goods on his birthday, probably if he was here around that time. But anyway, I uh, left that book off, like I said. And it's kind of looking around there real quick. I do voiceover because there's playing music in there, like, you know, blaring it. So I was like, eh, kind of a voiceover video so far in some things. But uh, I was in there. I was thinking, like, some of the moments of, you know, Terry Funk. And one of the ones I always think of, too, is, like, the King of the Deathmatch Tournament 94. It was IWA, him and Cactus Jack, and the finals. And the, throughout the tournament, I have, like, a bootleg copy of that. I bought it at a horror convention years ago. As it has the whole, to has the whole tournament in uh, Japanese. It was very cool, the whole tournament right there. It has a qualifying match. I think they wrestled both of them at least three matches that night to get to the finals or two. I know I think it was two. Two a pop to get to the finals, the third one. And they were like both a bloody mess, an exploding ring, and the, the barbed wire boards. I always remember that one. Uh, crazy stuff. But, uh, but now let's go hit up Walmart and uh, go from there. Now over to good old Walmart. So I want to check out these uh, new slips they get going on for some of these movies in here. I think they should, hopefully they're not released. So you never have Walmart at sometimes, but let's go check out the movie there again. Check out some of these uh, new slips for the movies. And here's some of the slips I want to check out. The Retro Vibe Slip. Look at the Lost Boys for 1296. Three film collection on Blu-ray. That is pretty boss right there. And this one, The Hobbit. I like that look at that neat retro like 80s sort of a look in a kind of in a way. I like that. Back Future One looks dope. Ghostbusters 3 movie collection. That is awesome. And look down below that. We got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Galaxy Quest. Munsters Popeye. I love that film. Free Willy Beethoven. And Land Before Time. That one looks so cool. Look at that. You get some of the slips up here. I was looking for some of the horror ones. Let's check these out. They're pretty cool. Look at the Blu-rays up here. Nice slip covers. The artwork. That's rad. Saw. Evil Dead 2. That's awesome. Cabin in the Woods. 31. Scream. Very, very cool. And of course, you got these fun DVD ones. The Glow in the Dark. I always love these. Always have, they always have new ones every year. It seems like the last handful of years. Got the Birds of Conjuring. The Thing. Collection. The Vampires Collection. Jeepers Creepers Collection. That Nightmare on Elm Street one looks great. Look at that. This looks so cool with that green. Glow in the Dark. That Critters one too. That one is a great one. Look at that. That's so cool. I just leave Walmart now. Nothing, not a whole lot in there. No Halloween stuff up yet. You know, it's still early, but it's not some place like Spirit Halloween that has that stuff up now. So it makes you think some some of these places have it up, but not yet. They're, they're doing it the regular way. But that's cool. I have those nice slip covers. I, I dug those like ten bucks. Those Blu-rays and those DVDs too. Pretty neat uh, slip covers. And now those movies. Got some of those right there. They're actually pretty pretty rad. But now let's go up here and uh, go from there. Now pretty much that's it for the video. I was gonna do some other stuff too, but I'm here about Terry Funk passing away. Kind of get me out of the mood for doing certain things I wanted to do. I'll do them next time in the, the next video. But kind of a little simple video, just like uh, up a few different places and pretty much just talking here and there about Terry Funk. And I'll do so with closing out the video too. Another, like, like another memory too also with uh, Funk is with uh, you know Mick Foley, uh, uh, Cactus Jack, and they went to WrestleMania 13 and they beat the New Age Outlaws, the tag team gold. Because it, it was around that time where I think it was, what was it, 98? 98, I believe it was, right? When it was, uh, Terry Funk was Chainsaw Charlie. Had, like the paint was around his head and the hair was sticking out. And everyone knew it was Terry Funk, but it was uh, you know Chainsaw Charlie. He came out, I think on Raw, you get up the chainsaw. He opened up, yeah, it's it it like in a wooden box and it came out like that. It says, Chainsaw Charlie. And then during the WrestleMania season, him and uh, Cactus Jack teamed up 
and then I was a dumpster match. It was like a, I think it was, I think it was what it was a dumpster match, hardcore dumpster match. It was something like that. It was pretty good. That was that was, that was a fun one. But a lot, a lot of different fun, uh, good memories of funk and of course, like I said before, when you think of hardcore wrestling, you think of Terry Funk, man. Terry Funk's the, the name that comes to mind. Him and Cactus Jack, Mick Foley, are the two guys I think of hardcore wrestling. Those are the two guys, the icons of that and uh, and that whole thing right there of hardcore wrestling, barbed wire matches, crazy death matches nutty stuff in japan a lot of people other people did it too but those guys were just legendary just just crazy uh matches they've had legendary career of terry funk and he'll be missed and just uh, yeah man just an amazing career and uh yeah just live, he'll, he'll live a long time and uh yeah he'll may he rest in peace and he influenced so many people like i said i saw a nice tweet from mick foley earlier about terry funk about he was like his uh, mentor and he looked up to him and all the, you know, all the matches, a really good, nice uh, tweet he tweeted out, Mick Foley. I know Tommy Dreamer's a big uh, Terry Funk. He, uh, he went under his wing, you know, a protege in a sense, you know, he, uh, from Terry Funk back in the early days of ECW and before that too. I think he trained with him in that kind of deal and uh, helped him win the world title in ECW back in, um, was it Barely Legal, the first pay-per-view, where Terry Funk, bloodied up mess, beat Raven for the world title in a triple threat match, a three-way dance, right? I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So something like that. I'm pretty sure we threw it in a three-way dance. It was like a three-way three -way dance. Then he advanced. He won that. Then then he advanced to be, to face Raven in the world championship match. That's what it was. It was like Sandman, uh, Big Stevie Cool, and Terry Funk, and they, they, those guys fought each other out. And then Raven came at the very end and played it up. Uh, Terry Funk. I think Tommy Dreamer did like a DDT to, to Raven later on in the match. And then uh, Terry Funk. Got the pin and right there. So yeah, the very first pay-per-view of ECW. But I was thinking of all these different things. But anyway, enough of me rambling on right there. We got this video, quick little video of just uh, you know tearing off a few different places. And then um, and of course the upsetting news of Terry Funk. And what what are your favorite memories if you're a wrestling fan of Terry Funk? What are some of the things you think of when you think of the legend himself, Terry Funk? Let me know in the comment below. And I'll catch you guys later next one. I'll see you then. And make sure. And also, real quick, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, you like the video, thumb it up, leave a comment below, and I'll catch you guys later. Then I'll see you then. And bye.